The Lost Pianos of Siberia by Sophie Roberts. This is a travelogue from which I learnt a great deal. It's one of my favourite kinds of books, one in which a subject is explored in a number of different ways and from different angles. This is a book about Siberia, past and present, and exploring what Siberia is in the collective imagination, and if we have any preconceptions about what it is, gently undermining them and offering up new information. It also describes, and this is the main thing, delightful encounters with the people who have lived in this enormous tract of land and meetings with those who still live there. The underlying premise for the book is that the author, Sophie Roberts, has a musician friend in Mongolia and she determines to find an old piano for her in Siberia. This sounds slightly odd, as we would think Mongolia to be far from anywhere, but of course Mongolia is not so far from Siberia. Similarly, why should we suppose that Siberia should contain pianos if it is simply a frozen wasteland as per common perception? The book is arranged in three broadly historical sections and the narrative moves backwards and forwards in time and the journeys around the Siberian landmass and islands are not contiguous. This works really well. The book is uh, charmingly illustrated throughout black and white photographs and every section uh, begins with a map subtly amended and annotated so it's not too difficult to work out exactly where you are and you can always flick back a couple of pages to get reoriented. I found myself repeatedly resorting to Google Street View or satellite to get a peek at towns, cities and regions and even specific buildings referred to in the text. The book takes an historical, geographical, political, architectural, musical interest in Siberia, as well as its natural history. In the early chapters, we explore the time of Peter the Great, Catherine the Great and the Romanovs uh, and the revolutions. And then we move on to the time of the Soviet Union and Stalin and his great repression. And then in the third section, Siberia from Perestroika through to the present day. Siberia is revealed as a place of exile through all of these periods. Uh, but interestingly, many people exiled or even self-exiled to Siberia chose to stay there when their period of punishment and sanction ended and they brought Western culture and music with them. There are some fascinating accounts in here of pianos being transported by sledge in the 18th and 19th centuries, thousands of miles over the ice and frozen lakes from Moscow and Western Siberia to the most isolated and forbidding places, but also to places like Khyatka here in the Altai Mountains. Uh, places that you've never heard of and you think must be in the middle of nowhere and yet turn out to have been important trading centres in the 19th century. In this particular case, Hiadka, for the import and export of tea. The author's quest for pianos takes in the Decemberists, the murder of the last Tsar and his family in Ekaterinburg, and the tale of the piano they may have used while temporarily incarcerated in the governor's house in Tobolsk. Old believers, retired Aeroflot aviators, the construction of the Trans-Siberian Railway and other railways, white Russians and their musical culture in Harbin, jazz music, bird watchers on a sea cruise around Kamchatka and the Russian Pacific Island archipelago, and of course pianos, their makers, both Russian and non-Russian, their owners and their passage from person to person through time. Siberia is a hard and mystical place, but the author seems to have found nothing but a welcome from all those she meets or seeks out for information uh, in her quest for pianos. The search for a suitable instrument is frustrating, and when in retrospect the joy or reward is more in the travelling than in the arriving, this story does actually have a happy and moving ending. This is a most informative book, it has prodigious notes, chronology and index section at the end. It also has a supporting website, which is very interesting. It really is a great read. I loved it. The Lost Pianos of Siberia by Sophie Roberts.